Good morning and thank you for joining me, Vicky Higgins, on Thursday the 6th of July. Today for the reflection, we're going to focus on Psalm 92. So I'll start by reading that now. It is good to praise the Lord and make music to your name, O Most High, proclaiming your love in the morning and your faithfulness at night. To the music of a ten-stringed lyre and the melody of the harp, for you make me glad by your deeds, Lord. I sing for joy at what your hands have done. How great are your works, Lord. How profound your thoughts. Senseless people do not know. Fools do not understand. That the wicked spring up like grass and all evildoers flourish. They will be destroyed forever. You, Lord, are forever exalted. For surely your enemies, Lord, surely your enemies will perish. All evildoers will be scattered Fine oils have been poured out on me. My eyes have seen the defeat of my adversaries. My ears have heard the rote of your wicked foes. The righteous will flourish like a palm tree. And they grow like a cedar of Lebanon. Planted in the house of the Lord. They will flourish in the courts of our God. They will still bear fruit in old age. They will stay fresh and green, proclaiming the Lord is upright. He is my rock and there is no wickedness in him. What a joyful psalm. Praising God for all he has given to us. Rejoicing in the victory over evil that will come. Life can be hard and wear us down. And when we look around the world, it's easy to be consumed and overwhelmed by the bad things that are happening, the hopeless situations we hear about or find ourselves in. But it's good to step aside out of this sadness and out of our woes and remember, God made the world. God rules the heaven and the earth. God is good. God gave his only son, Jesus, to be sacrificed so the sins we commit do not rupture the relationship between us and the Trinity, but rather offer the hope of redemption and restoration. Jesus died for us, not because of us, but in spite of us. Jesus died for us because he loves us and he wants a relationship with us. Jesus died on the cross, choosing to give his life over ours and to bring us back into a relationship with God the Father, Jesus the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit that is sent so we are blessed and we can bless us. The fruits of the Spirit are plentiful and God and good. We thank you for the wis for wisdom, love, joy, peace, kindness. Jesus died but was raised from the dead. This is given as a gift to us so we can enter an eternal relationship with God. Death is not the end. We look forward to the time when heaven is on earth and we all rest in the eternal goodness of God, free from sin and all that is evil, all of the woes of this world. What great things God has done. So let's spend 30 seconds just focusing on all the blessings of God that God has given us. Feel free to pause the reflection at this time. And now let's spend some time, same sort of time, 30 seconds, thinking about the people who we are grateful for in our lives, the people who God has given us, who they are and what they give us. Again, pause the reflection to do this. And by thinking about these things, these blessings, I pray that we all experience the joy that the psalmist felt. This doesn't change hardship and evil, but the love of God and the blessing that this brings remain constant for eternity. And that can bring joy even in dark times. So we finish with a prayer. Thank you, our Lord, our God, 
for all the goodness in our lives. We thank you for choosing us, for laying down your life for us, and we focus on the final victory. We pray we love others as we are loved, and we bless others as we are blessed. Amen. Have a great day.